Do you know what we're playing today? Looks like we're playing Donkey Kong. Yeah. And uh, I thought it would be fitting to have my brother here to play it because uh, he was going to be here for a vacation for a while. So I thought what better thing to do than to play a bunch of games from the 80s. Although I only have one here, so I guess we're going to play some Donkey Kong. I'm not even that old yet. I'm not from the 80s. Yeah. But um, I think that uh, it's more fitting for us to do like three, at least two or three times in a row for these three levels. There are only three levels in this game, so we're going to see like how fast or how slow we can get through them. All right. Okay, sure. Start. Who's going to start? Uh, I'll start it off. Okay. They always have that ominous music at the beginning. I'm not sure if they can hear that, though. Avoiding these barrels is kind of difficult, though, because sometimes he threw more than one. Yeah, but this first level seems pretty easy. I mean, yeah, yeah he sometimes tricks you like that. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> and he, yeah, he gets you like that, too. But another problem is when these fireballs start climbing up, too. Uh, eventually, if you don't, like, complete the level at time, I think they, like, get to the top or something, and they can attack you as well. So, yeah, see, sometimes they go down the ladder, so it really confuses you. But, um, this one's pretty straightforward, if you know what to do. You try to grab the hammer. Well, yeah, but, I mean, if I grab the hammer, I can't climb up the ladders. Mm, that's better if there's a lot of there. Yeah, I mean, you have to wait until you lose the hammer. And this one's quite easy, right? Yeah, I mean... Oh, and here's the second level. But here, you don't fall down from a high height, or else you'll die, which makes no absolutely no sense, because he's Mario. Well, that's what happens in, like, Mario 64 and stuff as well. Yeah, basically, you gotta jump across here and, like, avoid this thing he's throwing. You gotta stay there and wait till it goes over you. Yeah. Well, you just made that's it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard to do. But this is the last level where you have to walk across these things. Mm -hmm. And if you walk across all of them, you like get points for walking across all of them. And if you get all of them, he'll fall down and you'll get... Um, and you get... What was her name again? I remember in Japan they called her Lady for some reason. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, they keep moving around so awkwardly. How many lives do you have? Uh, I don't know. One, I this is the last one, I think, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, these things are kind of tricky at first. Like, they're kind of easy because they're kind of stupid AI because they just kind of wander around aimlessly. But eventually they might catch up to you at some point and it's really horrible when that happens. Ah! Oh! Oops. I thought I could have a jump there. Alright, oh, alright, all right, your turn. Okay, my turn. Let's see how better you fare. Alright. Alright, so just like I did, uh, you gotta you gotta wonder about those barrels, and you gotta watch where they go, because they really it. screw you up. Sometimes, like, one of them he'll throw will just, like, completely bound that down. The fire guy is annoying. Yeah. Go away. See, that's the problem. You gotta jump over him, actually. Whoops. Oh, man. Yeah, well, why was that? You didn't even have the fire guy there. Yeah, I mean, he appears sometimes and messes you up, but you gotta jump over him sometimes, like, whatever chance you get. Okay. Oh. Alright. Try not to grab the hammer. I know it's a good thing, but you're gonna probably need that, like, some other time. But I think not. now's not the good time, because if you use it, then uh, you have to wait until you run out of the hammer's power, and then you'll be able to keep going up. So I basically think you should just, like, keep jumping over the barrels. Jump! Alright. You made it through the first level. Good job. A lot of people manage to do that at first, but I mean, not their first try. What's the umbrella do? Nothing. Uh, just gives you extra points. Like, you'll get like... Like, like, like see, uh, you'll get 800 points. It gives you like extra points to get those, but it's not worth it because they're far away sometimes. What? Oh, yes! I, did, I didn't even fall that far. Yeah, exactly. It, it really screws you up when it's ridiculous. That. I mean, I didn't fall at all. I fell like one story. Exactly. It's really tricky and impossible. 
They they li they like to mess you up on this game. Just wait for the next one to come out, and then try and get on that platform. Oh, you did it! Oh, thank God. Now go to that platform. Now wait, just right on the edge of that, until that thing goes above your head, and then quickly run. Go up, go up. There you go. Alright, okay, so you gotta walk across all these. You see, okay. you know why? Because they'll all break and he'll fall. Yeah, but I only have, I don't have any lives left, so. Okay, so you gotta make this one count. Okay, wait. Jump over that guy when he comes near you. When he comes near you. Oh, don't worry, he can't go across that. That guy can come down here. Oops. Oh! That guy was gonna come there as well. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I lost. Alright, uh, I'll, t I'll take another turn. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it gets more difficult as you keep going. But, um, I figure that we might be able to uh, get finish this if we try hard enough. There's only three, li uh, three levels. Okay. Yeah, it, it gets very tricky but later But who would on. pay that much for, like, an NES game? Cause, I mean... I, well, basically, it's the original Donkey Kong Arcade, and they figured... But, like, in the original Donkey Kong Arcade anyway, they kind of have the same three levels anyway. They have a lot of, like, the same stuff. Oh, oh man. Yeah, see, when he throws, like, has, like, two barrels down there, that's when you screw up. It's so weird how they like the hammer. With the hammers, you can actually get a high score, probably, because you get more points with the hammer. Well, yeah. So if, I, you, if you if you would want to do the arcade version, but basically you just gotta like wait until um uh you gotta wait until you're out of the hammer's power, then you will be able. To, oh man, that's bad. Then you'll just be able to keep going up. But if you keep it or something. Uh, you'll get extra points, I mean. Yeah, you gotta be careful, you don't have any lives left. Yeah, and I'm only in the first level. Yeah, that kinda sucks. Yeah, it, it's really nuts that they trick you in some of these times. It's very bad. But the arcade version, I don't believe, did that. But I'm not sure. I think that they actually did do that in the arcade version, what am I saying? Uh, I, oh yeah, her name's Pauline. Yeah, the girl's name's Pauline. They made up the name Peach later at some point. Well, that was a different character, actually. Uh, Pauline was supposed to be some damsel in distress that Mario was supposed to rescue before Peach. But Peach came, like, as a later character. And she was originally called Princess Toadstool, I believe? And, er and apparently, if you look on, like, the Mario wiki or whatever, they apparently oh, say... Dude, just dodge that. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I'll see if I can make this. I, I think basically I'm gonna just try and avoid these fire guys because they're driving me freaking nuts. They should be pretty easy to dodge because they're very stupid. Yeah, but if they surround you. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you kill them with a the hammer? Ooh, this is bad. Ah! I was so close! Okay, I'm gonna go for it again. You almost had a high score. Alright. This is the last time. You gotta try this. You gotta make this one. I'm gonna hammer. grab a hammer just because it's fun. Alright, but make sure you don't die. I love the way the sound like with Mario walking, he's just like You should buy some new shoes. Yeah, he's he's like as squeaky as frick. He's extremely squeaky. Alright. 500 points! I heard some, like a rumor that sometimes when you like swing the hammer, if you like, tr if the like, barrel hits you in the upswing, you will going, die. They actually keep going faster than there. Yeah, exactly. Why like they... if two come at the same the same time, it gets really annoying. But why are they? Why were they suddenly going that much faster? I don't know. It... Probably because I have a higher score now. Or something. Probably, probably. I think it tries to mess you up even more if you've got a better score. I don't know. I think their barrels come at like random. Like in a random pattern, I, I'm supposing. What? Yeah, see, he does that. He, he, th fair. he throws the barrel like and it bounces down those. No, but it, 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 
threw it down like right on. Yeah, exactly. He tries that sometimes. It's actually becoming harder. Like it's harder than the first time. Yeah, it's really weird, and it, it's as if like the AI is just thinking, "Oh, you're you're trying to win. Well, um, that's not gonna happen." And then it just kind of tries to screw you over. Oh no, you're in a tight situation. Oh, there! Oh my God, you did really good there. That's so unfair. Oh man. Okay, one last try. Okay. I'm gonna give it one last try and see if I can beat it. All right. And then we're gonna be done with this. All right. Squeaky shoes. Yeah, seriously. I mean, where did Nintendo get the idea, oh, let's make the walking noise? <laughs> you know, like those annoying games that sometimes have those horrible noises. Like, it kind of reminds me, like, I don't know what it reminds me of, but it is an extremely squeaky shoe, don't you think? Mm hmm. You made it up that's good. That's good. Oh, and I got with both all three of my lives. That's, that's awesome. Good. Even, but you did get like 700 score, and I had 2,000 when I used to hammer. But yeah, the, but the point about this is to try and get through all three levels, and that's the problem. Well, if you, if you really want to do it arcade style, you gotta get a high score. Ooh. Man, he is so tricky! Well, this level's actually pretty easy. Yeah, you just kinda gotta just jump across there. If you know where to go, you still have both lives, you should make this. Yeah, yeah, if we make this, I'm gonna, like, just, like, finish the video and be extremely happy. Yeah, I still get another try. You still get another try? Yeah, you started off last time. Yeah, yeah. I wanna prove that I can do it, too. Alright. Or not. <laughs> or not. Alright, kicking ass. Now the fire guy's here. Ah! And now we kick he just, ass. he just moves so weirdly. Hey, every time you die, that your score stays the same. Yeah, but you can but you can re you can redo like parts of it and grab the umbrella again. That's awesome. So it's actually a good trick to yeah, it is try good. to you should try you should just die in the last level a few times and grab the umbrella. Yeah, but you can only die three times, which is unfortunate. So you can only raise your score so much. All right, I'm so close. Please don't screw the screw me over, Nintendo. No! Why didn't the thing go? I got Nintendoed. Dope. Well, you got a high score. That's that's a good thing. Oh man, I just hate these fire guys. They really get in your way. You, I don't even sure if you can jump over them. I mean, they're they're moving the whole time and they're quite wide. Well, they kind of just, like, move randomly, and, like, they look like they're having, like, a seizure or something. Honestly. They don't look very healthy. What?! You died. You fell from the platform. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay, you get one more try. I never knew Donkey Kong could be so hard when it's the first game Mario was ever in. Mario had it hard, like, in the beginning. He was just, like, having to jump over, like, thousands of barrels trying to avoid a giant monkey. So, yeah, some of those barrels will try and come down the ladder, so that's bad. Oh man, he throws it too fast. Okay, here's your advantage. Get up there, get up there. Oh, thank god. Sometimes I actually used to try and climb the ladder she was near, but apparently that does not work. <laughs> it's really bad if you try that. Horrible things will happen. That sounds very ominous. I wonder if Nintendo had an idea to make Donkey Kong smash his fists on you if you were too close to him. I wonder if they did that. Just, just one of those little things. Oh, gotta get away! Gotta get away! Okay, good. You're doing good. I'm gonna try to get that bag. Oh, you. 
Oh, don't try and get the bag, it's too dangerous. Oh, get the bag. Oh, that thing falls though on that platform, so be careful. Okay. Wait for it. Go, go, go! Ah! <laughs> it's like right under you. Well, this is going sort of okay. But is the only way to beat him to get away all those platforms? Probably. You have to, yeah, you have to get away all the platforms. But avoid those guys like hell. They're just like crazy evil. Okay, he's going up the ladder. That's good. Oh god. Get away from that guy. Get away. Okay, move up one. Oh, oh. Move up one. You can't get it. Yeah, it's so weird and awkward to try and get past that. Okay, go down, I think. And then jump across. No, wait, you gotta go up one. Oh, wait. Okay, go up one. Then go up that one. And then go across. Yeah, there. See, there are certain tactics. The guy, the guy is thinking about The guy is thinking. He's just so like, I know you're going up there. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, my. Oh. No! Oh. These guys, they're smarter than they look. They are smart. But, I mean, they move so weirdly and randomly, so you'd suppose that they're not very smart enemies. But then they just get you right there. I mean, they move so weirdly, like, when you think you're jumping over them, they just, like, move to the right or left, like, immediately when you jump. So uh, then you, like, uh, end up jumping on them. See, that guy's coming up. What's unfair about this is you can't jump on the enemies like you can in Super Mario Brothers. Okay, quickly go up that. You get that? Alright, good, good, good. You're so close. Yeah! Did it. Awesome! Wow. Now what about Peach? You should be loving Peach. Yeah, but she's later, of course. It's, this is just one of our other, one, one of his other. Yeah. So you see, so see, it starts again. Oh, and you can keep playing until you beat the, until you get the highest score. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Because the score just adds up. It's just like the arcade. Does it get harder? Probably does, right? I think it gets harder, but they're the same three levels. I think he like gets even more intense. He looks like he is. He looks like he's throwing a lot more barrels. Oh, that's cool. I thought that the second one would get you. I can't believe it like reaches at the top, like in the upswing, it just like Mario accidentally hits a barrel. He's like, oh, oh wait, oh wait, that's what I wanted to do. It's weird that you only get a hundred points when like that's like the lowest amount of points you can get in the video game. I believe so at least. But of course it was like the old arcade. But like there's arcade in the 70s, right? So like there's a lot lesser scores. It says there. you have you have the M there, and that's what your lives are. Yeah, that, so the it, but, but if the L's there, is there is there a Luigi in here as well? I don't think there's a Luigi in this one. But what does the L say? Uh that's lives. No wait, that's left. I don't know what that means. Levels. I think that's like how many levels there are left. Like I think this is like two, and then go to one, and then zero is the last one where you fight him. What? Okay. Yeah. I got the high score though. It's really unfair. All right, this was cool. Well, thanks for playing Donkey Kong, man. No problem. It was really cool. All right. You'll get there someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's amazing that you got past all that because it, it's really difficult sometimes when mm -hmm. uh, you don't know where he's gonna throw the barrels. Yeah. Even this uh, guy's playing better than we are. Yeah, but that's like the demo, so of course it's gonna be much better than you or me. So, uh, well, let's round it off for today, and uh, maybe see you next time. All right. Thanks. See ya. Bye, guys.